Finding a parking spot on college campus can be frustrating. Not to mention, it may lead to traffic congestion, class delays, and accidents. To alleviate this challenge, a group of computer engineering students worked on equipping parking lots with smart parking systems at Cal State San Bernardino. In this talk, I'll present our system that integrates IoT sensors and civilian cameras to count vehicle at a parking structure. Well, various parking systems have been deployed. The central problem is how to make the trade-off between cost, accuracy, and reliability. Smart parking system can be divided into three categories. The first one is sensor-based method, which use stationary sensors to detect a vehicle's presence by sensing ultrasonic, optical, magnetism, or pressure changes. You might have noticed the black circles and squares on the road near intersections. They are so-called inductive loops. When the vehicle passes over, the car's mental body reduces the inductance of the wire loop. This change tells the sensor about the presence of the vehicle. At intersections, this information will then be used to adjust the signal timing. The same type of sensor has been used to monitor parking lots. The second method for counting vehicle is by using cameras. This picture shows the license plate radar from a nearby toll road. In camera-based method, computer vision techniques are used to extract vehicle's movement from the camera footage. For plate radar, it required an array of specialized high-speed cameras. If it's just for counting vehicles, a consumer-grade camera can work reasonably well. The last common method for parking monitor is what we call crowdsourcing. In popular ad navigation apps, you've seen the popular time graph or similar functions. It relies on the users voluntarily sharing their parking location information from their smartphone. The, the more people that are using the app, the more accurate the estimation will be. Each of these methods have some limitations when it comes to tracking the number of vehicles coming in and going out of a parking lot. For sensor-based method, it is hard to distinguish between two vehicles traveling closely together versus one slow-moving vehicle. Um, for camera-based method, it's challenging to maintain a clear line of sight at all times, especially in outdoor environment. Additionally, driving behavior, such as the aggressive and illegal ones in parking lots, can easily confuse computer vision algorithm. As to crowdsourcing method, the performance heavily relies on the adoption rate of the smartphone app. So crowdsourcing are mainly used for a rough estimation of the parking lot occupancy. Given these observations, we built a smart parking system by integrating both sensor-based and camera-based methods. We installed new IoT sensors at the entrances and utilized existing civilian cameras inside the parking structure. The pilot, uh, the pilot side of the system is a parking structure with 745 parking spots. Here's a closer look at the sensor we used. It's a battery-powered magneto-resistive sensing device. They are installed in holes cored in the pavement and are covered with epoxy. This picture was taken when we put them in. Different from the traditional inductive loops, no wiring is required for this sensor. Vehicle detection data are wirelessly transmitted using IEEE 802.15.4 protocol. This picture on the left shows how we install the access point. It is similar to the household Wi-Fi antenna. The detection data is further relayed to the IT service room inside the parking structure. From there, the detection data is sent to our cloud server. Our system consists of three parts. Wireless vehicle detector, civilian cameras, and a web server. This floor plan shows the setup at one of the entrances. There's one camera 
pointing to the entrance. The camera was installed by the campus police to monitor security before this project. Two sensors were installed under each lane leading towards the parking structure. Now we're looking from the civilian camera's perspective. Our vehicle tracking algorithm processed the live video footage. The boundary box shows the location of the vehicle extracted from the background. By tracking the center of the boundary box, we can find if the vehicle is entering or leaving the parking structure. For the IoT sensors, they are triggered when the vehicle are on top of them. Integrating two sensing methods, it allows us to achieve good accuracy. In our test, the vehicle counting accuracy is about 96%. Our initial plan was to develop the smart parking system in two steps. In the first year, we'll conduct a pilot study at one parking lot. Then in the second year, we'll expand the system to cover most of the campus. Unfortunately, the second step of the project is currently on hold due to the COVID-19 interruptions. So in the last few months, we looked into data collected by the pilot system. We're interested in how to provide parking prediction and studied traffic patterns. The intuition behind parking prediction is simple. We can estimate parking occupancy in the next 15 or 30 minutes based on historical data. This figure was taken from our website. It shows the traffic pattern is similar between two days in different weeks. We can further improve our estimation by looking at daily and weekly traffic patterns. When we turn to data analysis, we have some interesting findings. Our parking structure has two entrances. This figure shows the hourly count of detected vehicles by each line from the two entrances. Each entrance has two lines, one for enter and one for exit. It's interesting to note, the west entrance receives more traffic than the other entrance. In this figure, the count in blue is significantly larger than the count in gray. This is likely because the west entrance is closer to other parking lots and major lecture buildings, which makes students consider west entrance as the default entrance to the parking structure. Our study finds it will be beneficial to add a parking direction at the east entrance. This would help to improve traffic flow by balancing the use of both entrances and may reduce congestion during rush hours. We also looked into weekly traffic patterns. It may provide insight on long-term traffic trends. Well, the last spring and the winter quarters are unconventional. We can see how wildfire-induced power outage and the COVID-19 pandemic affected the university. Generally speaking, we can use the traffic pattern to study students' movement behavior. This in turn can help to improve class schedule, campus traffic management, and plan for emergency response. For future work, there are a total of 7,300 parking spaces on campus. Well, the pilot system only covers 10% of them. We hope to expand the system to include more parking lots. Our ultimate goal is to provide parking guidance. That is, suggest parking location based on parking lots occupancy information so that we can direct the campus traffic. So far, our students deployed the pilot system and designed a parking prediction algorithm. All of this are student projects with many support from the university. In the computer science department, our objective has been providing students with hands-on experience, solving real-world problems, and to better prepare them with a data-driven mindset. And with that, that's how we define the future.